in accordance with the rules of engagement under legal supervision. Order. Question number two. Todd Barclay. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Finance and asks, what recent reports has he received about New Zealand's economic outlook? The <coughs> Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, during the recess, the credit rating agency Moody's reaffirmed New Zealand's highest possible AAA sovereign credit rating with a stable outlook, highlighting the country's high economic resilience effective policy making and a very strong fiscal position. Moody states that they expect that New Zealand will be one of the fastest growing AAA rated economies over the next few years. It also notes that New Zealand's strong population growth, including through immigration, helps lift the country's economic potential. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Todd Barclay. Thank you, Mr Speaker. What does Moody say about the government's fiscal priorities? The Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, Moody's statement is actually a very positive endorsement, almost an embarrassingly positive endorsement of the government's and New Zealand's economic performance and policy settings, and underlines the benefits of all the work that New Zealand as a whole has done over the last few years to strengthen our economy and our country's finances. <coughs> it highlights the government's targeting and subsequent achievement of a budget surplus in 2014-15 as evidence of the country's effective policy making. It also notes that the government's focus on preserving strong public finances provides New Zealand with the room to buffer the economy from any future economic shocks or natural disasters. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Todd Barclay. Thank you, Mr Speaker. How will the government ensure New Zealand retains its strong fiscal position? The Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, the Government will continue to prudently manage public finances, with one of our key priorities being to reduce net debt to around 20 per cent of GDP by 2020-2021, to ensure that we can manage any shocks that may happen in the future. I appreciate that there are other views of that target, and I see recent uh, reports of organisations seeking to postpone debt targets two or three years, apparently in the name of fiscal responsibility. However, it is important to note that New Zealand has recent experience with economic shocks and natural disasters, and it is important to have the capacity to respond to those and to return to those as soon as reasonably possible, and that's why we have the target. Supplementary. Supplementary question. Todd Barclay. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Has he received any other reports which highlight New Zealand's economic outlook? Order. The Honourable Stephen Joyce. Yes, Mr Speaker. Busy times in the Economic Outlook Division. Uh, today, NZIER released its quarterly survey of business opinion, which indicates that it expects economic activity continuing to grow at a moderate pace. While overall confidence eased slightly, likely reflecting wider geopolitical issues, businesses remain upbeat about their prospects, with a net 21 per cent of firms reporting stronger activity over the last quarter and a net 25 per cent of firms expecting improved activity in the quarter ahead, indicating that growth is expected to continue through this year. Speaker. Is this for question number three or is this supplementary? Uh, it's a question. Question number three, James Shaw. Thank you, Mr Speaker.